Hello, ladies, gents, and fat spider mummies ready to wrap me in their cocoon. We return to the dark side of Spelunky. There is one path I have yet to explore. I am going to bust it open and fill it with all of my gaming juices. Ready to unleash my wrath upon these filthy caves full of garbage. Get this to the exit. And we shall carry on to mm, harder, more upsetting situations. I have now a butterfly knife ready to shank the crap of my enemies. Feeling pretty great. What was this again? Increased whip damage, but stomp steal no damage. Feels like that is just bad. Simply just bad. Because... No! Oh, well... <laughs> Instantly punished, huh? Quick restart, please. Don't... Actually, let's see if I can do character select. No, it opens the journal anyway. Oh, well. Easy to restart. No big deal. Yet again, another rehearsal run. Make sure everything is uh, going according to plan. I was in the middle of saying something. Oh, uh, yeah, I had a butterfly knife. And I was like, oh, it's just not worth doing a damn thing. Did I just... Did you just throw a torch on my head? Piece of garbage. That was freaking awful. And I hated it. Wow. It's alright. Never punished. Give me that piece of turkey, baby. Um, trading my stomping for my whip is silly. When I was carrying a butterfly knife. Yep. Please, I just need... I need... Hey, that one's much better than the one I had before. I need a freaking break. Sure, it's... I mean, is it worth a rope and a bomb? Is it worth two ropes? Probably not. Certainly, certainly not. Fire whip. Uh, sure, we will enable it. Great, great stuff. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, Shining with my incredible ability to humiliate myself. And this one? Holy crap, that could have blown up. <laughs> Alright, we're starting with tons of bombs. Not a whole lot of ropes, unfortunately, because I just threw them in the garbage. But we'll be fine. Seems like it's a um, good policy to put, you know, start out with a bunch of... Really, the fire doesn't cook the turkey, huh? Alright. I guess I accept it. I suppose that is a thing I a thing I have to just accept as the truth of existence. Thing is, it's using ammunition, unfortunately. Oh, it's fine. I don't really care. Ammunition is for the for fools anyway. No real reason. Ooh. Let's put points in luck. Seems like it's a good policy to put a few points to start with. A Matok, huh? You know what? Matok is actually pretty great. I poo-pooed it the first time I found it, not quite understanding the usefulness of such a thing. Will you get extra money? You get to make a few shortcuts here and there? Seems very, very nice. Uh, we'll put this in my backpack. And we'll carry on. I can just dig my way through. I can cave his head in. Oh no! You're not supposed to do this! <laughs> You're supposed to be... Oh, oh. Alright. <laughs> True crisis averted. My violence... My violence was almost immediately punished. Okay, I don't see any more cash. Anywhere. Let's go through. But of course there's the diminishing returns of the bubbles because on, on you know on, on leveling up luck. Because at some point you're going to reach the end. And certainly luck is not <clears throat> as useful with a mod that is not complete. Ow. Well, if the mod went all the way to the end, luck would be way more useful because you know it, it will you know last you longer and the effect would be felt all the way to the end. But it seems worth... 
<laughs> oh, jeez. Well, there goes my bombs. <laughs> it seems worth uh, putting a few points in it. Anyway, let's see what this perk is. Spark shield. Upon taking damage, a fast-moving spark ball will float around you for 10 seconds. Seems pretty worthless to me. Because I don't plan to get hit at any point. Nice, nice, very nice. I have stomped your ass, and now I sacrifice your ass. Don't know whether it's worth it or not to put you in Kali's sacrificial altar. We're hoping it will be, though. Uh, ah! More luck. I think four points of luck. I think that's probably where the sweet sweet spot is at. Uh, we'll just use two bombs. Actually, I have a Matok somewhere, right? I let it go at some point. Didn't need to use that bomb. Just do something like this. More ammo. Sweet, sweet. And I could get myself some extra cash, but the shop didn't spawn in this one. We just didn't get lucky with an opportunity to use violence to purchase wares. You know me and my propensity to just not reach for that wallet. It's just so much work to undo the Velcro. Rather just zip out my gigantic tool of destruction that I carry in my pants. You know, I, I put this matox strapped to my pants and I just zip it out of its of its duffel bag. Alright, moment. Alright, we face each other again. You're actually easy. Don't get destroyed by his incredible ability to change the patterns. Pow! If nothing else, I am resentful that he takes quite a while. I'm already salty about having to go through Mole Man as opposed to just get carrying on with the random level generation. So let that be a testament to my incredible mastery. Stop. Stop being angry. Okay. He needs to roll at some point. He needs to spawn people at some point. Oh. What's up? Well, that was massively aggressive. Okay, you dead. You scumbag. Get destroyed. Okay, four clovers is where it's at, I think. Then we'll give ourselves one point of health. And uh, everything else will be perks. Shoots flame. I'm going to remove both of these and I'm just going to give myself this stomp. This stomp really was a good time. I'm almost positive this is the path that we have not traveled. This is where we got absolutely destroyed the last time we were. Because for some reason, like touching this weird conduit dropped my backpack and then the backpack exploded. So, ooh. How strange. Ah, I see. They're just electrified conduits. <laughs> what the hell, brother? <laughs> Wouldn't you please put like a danger sign on it or something? <laughs> Holy crap. Just insta-death bar. All right. It's just a third rail. Ah, if you hit the return to camp, you don't get stuck. That's nice. That's nice. Good to know. That is the option you must choose. Well, <laughs> what do you want me to do? I have learned a valuable lesson. Check me out, baby. You didn't expect me to actually have accomplish that, did you? You did not think that I would be able to do what I just did. I had no faith in me. Funny how the key flies into the keyhole. Amazing. Let's get through here. Get me this boomerang. Don't diss it because this boomerang actually serve it, served me incredibly in our winning run. We don't want to do violence against the turkeys. Kind of silly to do so. You know what? You can shove that right up your asshole. It was just going to make me explode for no good reason. Don't need it. Wish I could sell it. Pow! And we have uh, a lizard fool. Well, we don't want to do such murder. 
You're gonna just die, right? No, you're not dead. All right, here you go. Shove it up your ass. And now we do violence. For no reason again, because, you know, there's like hardly any gain whatsoever. Well, that to getting that crossbow. And is the crossbow better than the boomerang? I have my doubts. Pretty sure a boomerang is better than a crossbow in about 87% of situations. I've done the math. I've run the calculations. You can just trust me, bro. More turkey for me. Live turkey. Callie adores it. Very tender meat. One of these days she's going to reward me for my service. Uh, destroy all of these. To be able to return. Yeah, pretty easy. Happy face, huh? What is happy face? Hell yeah, that is amazing. Happy face is great. I will put it in the backpack just for the sake of having it there. I am very much interested in creating more sacrifice opportunities. I don't feel like it's a bad investment of my time. Did I ever go down this way? I did not. Might as well partake of this incredible chest. It contains a shotgun. I have 12 ammunition, sure. But you know what? You know what? You know what? Throw this into the garbage. Put the boomerang in my backpack. And off we go. To the next level. Follow the arrow. To victory! Need to go for freaking Mole Man again. What a pain in the ass. Just don't like it. Two times in a row was too much to ask for. That's just spawns a crate next to me, which is just ass. I mean, it's decent. It's decent, I suppose. Hopefully we can find some health. Hey, Kali is here. Jump Master, Fire Whip, Ammo Saver. Jump Master is decent. But honestly, I'm not interested in any of them. I will rather just kill you dead. And give Kali her worth. Her pound of flesh. What a shot. What a shot. I don't know why I'm using my ammunition in such foolish ways, but... I just enjoy watching my enemies perish. There you go, Kali. I'm sure that you could use the extra... Extra souls. There's more ammo. Uh, I guess it's good. I can't activate it, though. I mean, how often are you going to get cursed? Probably not that often. I'm just undaunted by the use of ammunition. I don't really care. Okay, two points of luck. Probably could have done the health. Because I am liable to die horrendously to Mole Man because I took two points of damage. Put this in the exit. Wonder if we'll get enough flesh for a uh, Kapala slash whatever the 16 points of rewards are going to be. I'll be surprised if there's a Kapala on the other side of that, but there may be. 65 bubbles. Uh, no entrance, huh? I guess we'll put a bomb right there. Sure. A perk. What are these one? What are these? Oh, this is very good. We don't need this no more. Enable! Unfortunately, there is no uh, health to be found. We have 40 seconds. Maybe Callie will solve my problem. Nope. I have not kept track of how many points we put in there. Give me the good stuff. This is ass! <laughs> Piece of garbage. This creates experience, so I must trigger it. All right, well, here we are facing Mole Man with only two points of health. If I mess up at any point, we are we are super dead. I accept it. It is what it is. I'll just cut my next run until we get to freaking Mole Man. It's a little bit of a slowdown, I've noticed. Oh. Mole Man not guaranteed. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Pretty sure this spider is more likely to kill me. 
I'm less used to the patterns. Choke on it, bitch. You idiot! You got yourself bombed. Didn't even have to do a damn thing. Oh yeah, I'm totally, totally catching the patterns here. Being the greatest of all time. Catch it, bitch. Are we done? Nope. Well, great throw. <laughs> Excellent throw. Well done. This is gonna be it. I hope so. Hey, very nice. I like this spider much better. I don't know. It's even though it it definitely feels easier. It also feels more fun. Max health increased by two, and it actually gave me full health. Holy crap! Holy crap, buddy! Suddenly, the run is looking incredible. Now, just don't touch the exposed power wires and you'll be fine. That is just wrong. For, <laughs> for an instant death, a source of instant death to just be a gray bar. <laughs> it doesn't seem right. Okay, what? Oh, I have powered it down. I see. I mean, that's kind of bad, isn't it? Because now I, I really have no access to places. I think I'll rather use ropes to get around. I was being followed by this scum lord, huh? Well, you're forever trapped in there. I hope that you enjoy starving to death. That's what you get for pissing me off. Ah! Okay. That was very aggressive of you. Yes, yes, yes. Chase me down. Stomp. Oh! Okay, they're not explosive like the, the game counterparts. I mean, a bit of a problem here, right? Uh, you might find yourself in a situation where you really just cannot get around. I guess I'll put a bomb there. They are unbreakable, I see. I mean, I don't know if I like this mechanic, honestly. Makes it so that it's it may become impossible to navigate the level. But of course it was entirely my choice. Do I dare touch this damn rail? What if it just kills me anyway? Science must be done. Okay, it didn't kill me. Which is, you know, makes all the sense in the world. Oh, you can't even use these as vines. That's silly. That really should be a thing. You know, it really should allow you to use the the elevator things as vines to be able to navigate through these uh, powered down levels. The arrow is on the other side, huh? Is it really on the path that I came from? I keep trying to climb these. You cannot climb them. Well, there goes uh, my second, uh, fourth to last rope. It would be nice to get that experience, but... It's just follow the arrow. I guess I could just go back down and power it up again. Where was it? Was it on this side? Yeah, it was all the way on that side. Actually, I do need to power it up again. <laughs> I need to power it up again because it's behind a freaking teleporter. Well, this will teach me not to ever power it down. If only unknown. Okay. Teleport me, baby. You live and you learn. Just don't power it down and you'll be fine. Do I want to stick around? Nope. Because a terrible chill runs up my spine. I am uh, I'm not fond of this biome. It's really interesting though. I really admire the creativity of it. It's just a matter of not powering it down and, and you really don't uh, have anything else to complain about. But clearly, do not touch the power conduits. All the way through. If that skeleton is live, I might just die here. Okay. This probably just crushes you dead. Let's not. There's the, there's the key. Really? That was weird. Aren't you going to assault me? 
I guess not. The exit is all the way on the other side, huh? Guess we'll go this way. Look down. Nothing. All that danger is down there. Oh, baby. <laughs> Magical teleporting horrible monsters. There's the power button. We're not pressing it. Are they cursed or what is the deal? Why are they made of ash? Uh, we do need to press the power button because the alternative is just roasting. Oh, no. There is a teleporter. I get it. I get it. I mean, there's stuff. I must have it. What? What just happened? Oh no! Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just want to flee. I just want to get out of here. Teleport me out. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this is this biome is so much more intimidating. Then, what was the other? The jungle biome? We have lots of health, but not enough to survive. Ooh. Do not touch. An explosion. Oh, lo, lo. They're almost invisible, those power wires. They, they really are freaking me out. Because my brain is not trained to, you know, watch out for them. I like the circus music. <laughs> Very appropriate. It is a circus of incompetence. I do want this key. I need it. Am I returning now? Nah. Holy crap, that could have exploded. It could have easily been an explosive thing. Okay, we don't really want to mess with anything here. We're just going to find the exit, get the hell out. I mean, I, I do want stuff, though. What is going on here? What is this? Oh, you crush! <laughs> it's a trap. 